Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we will discuss how to run autoregressive integrated moving average models in RapidMiner. So you can also carry out econometric analysis in RapidMiner. Let us see how we can do it. So first of all, we will bring the data set here. So I will select the data which is having a time series. I'll connect this with the spline and I'll press the play button. Now you can see here that this data contains GDP, employment, capital and year. I can also visualize this. I'll convert this thing into the line chart. Now I want to use ARIMA models here. So first of all, I'll have to establish the stationarity that, that, that is this series stationary or not. So I'll go here and activate the operator select attributes because we don't want to work on all the attributes. We only want to work on selected. So I'll go in select attributes, subset it and select attributes and GDP will be transferred here. Now the next thing which I want to which I should do is activate the auto correlation function from here drag it and drop it run it. Now you can see here it is having some positive and negative values. When you go, will go in the visualization window you can see it generates the autocorrelation function. So there are some spikes which are which are on first leg, second leg, third leg, and that way. So now I'll transform the data. This can be done by inserting the log transformation here. So I'll just write down logarithm. and transfer it here. Again, I'll run the play button and I'll see the visualization. Still, the data is not stitched any. I'll again go back here and design and I'll remove the logarithm. And now I'll introduce the differentiate. And I'll drop it here. Now you can see here, everything is question mark and in visualization also there is nothing and therefore, and therefore, we can say that the data has become stationary. Now, well, we can proceed further. We know that the data gets stationary at first difference. So, I'll remove this. And now, I'll activate ARIMA from here. And I'll drop it here. Now, you'll have to specify which variable you are considering. So, I'll say ARIMA. Here, there is the things which you have to specify here is P, T and Q. What are these terms? Let us try to understand. This model was given by Box Jenkins and this ARR autoregressive term I is a integrated and MA is a moving average term. So if I am including the lag of the dependent variable yt minus 1, yt minus 2, they are all AR terms, autoregressive terms. And if I take the legs of the error terms, mu t minus 1, mu t minus 2, they are all MA terms. And I have to specify that how many legs of dependent variables are taken and how many legs of the error terms are taken. So I'll again go back here and I'll specify that let us keep this 2 and on first difference the data is getting stationary and I'll take this 2. And main criterion which I should consider is a Kaike information criteria. I'll run the model. And you can see I have got the estimates of AR and MA. Once you have built the model, now I will use this model for forecasting purpose. And therefore, I'll activate the operator which is apply forecast. I'll drop it here apply forecast. 
Now I'll press the play button from here. And you can see that this is the forecasted value which has happened. Now, initially, both the data will be same, but when you will get go on the fag end, this is the forecasted value for next time, for next five time periods. You can change this horizon from here and the forecasting can be done for six, seven or ten also. Again, I'll go in result window and I'll go in visualization and I'll activate the line chart from here. So this is the original series and this is the forecasted series. Okay, in case if you feel that the model is overfitted, see, you can see that the trend is this much and the model has overfitted. So what you can do, again, I even go in design and uh, you can make the changes here directly. Make this as one, this as one and try to again go, try to see in visualization that are get things getting smoother or not still not so now i'll remove the differentiation from here and again i'll run it and visualization and you can see now that the things are much prettier than the previous forecast and therefore this model is more robust in comparison to the previous models okay let us see that if i remove ar terms still my model is Better, I'll again go in visualization. No, there is a problem. You can see that, that uh, the chronology is not maintained. Again, I'll go in design. Now I'll make this one and I'll make this as zero. Let me run it again. Visualization. So here uh, you can take the model to be the MA model. Uh, no, AR model, sorry. We have taken the ER model. Definitely, you can work on ER1 or ERMA, that is ARMA, ERMA process. This can be done. So, for more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. I've already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miners. Please see my playlist. Please don't forget to press the like button and you can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.